Good morning, Riverwood Church. I was just reading in my Bible this morning in the book of John. <laughs> I'm going through that again. Um, and Jesus had just fed the 5,000. You might, you might remember that he gets in a boat. <clears throat> Actually, his disciples get in a boat, go to the other side of the sea. He meets them, walks on the water, goes over there. The crowd follows him across. And so he's starting to talk to the crowd. And, and I'm wondering if you've ever, you know, heard hard words that later make sense. And this is, this is exactly what we're talking about here. Jesus says this to them. He says, I'm the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Now we celebrate this uh, in communion. We take the flesh, we take the the the, uh, the blood, and in the form of bread and wine or grape juice, as we do it. But uh, here's the thing: they they didn't do that back then, and so this was quite surprising. Now listen to these words because they sound really really difficult. G then the Jews began to argue sharply among themselves: How can this man give us his? flesh to eat. It's kind of an interesting question. How can he give flesh to eat rather than why should we eat his flesh? But nevertheless, Jesus says to them, very truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood, you will have no life in you. He goes on, doubles down. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up in the last day. And then he says, my flesh is re real food and my blood is real drink tripling down, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him, just as the living Father sent me and I live, uh, the Father, the one who feeds on me will live because of me. And he goes on and it's like the disciples are saying, hey, this is a hard saying even for us. The word says that a number of his followers left him at that point in time because God had a hard word. A hard word that wasn't understood at the time, but later makes a ton of sense. And isn't that true sometimes in our lives? That God will speak to us in ways, asking us to do some things, maybe some hard things like loving somebody who, who absolutely hates you today. You know you need to do it. God says to do it. It's a hard thing to do. It's a hard to accept, but it makes sense. So that's my encouragement to you. If you've got God calling you to a hard thing, Realize that he, he spoke some very hard things which were actually there to give us life. And, uh, and so that's my encouragement to you today. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday as we can uh, continue our One Another series. We're going to be looking at accepting one another and uh, maybe putting some of this to work. Okay, see you then.